Hi, everyone. So I just kept having like one psychic dream after the other last night. Some of them were just for me specifically. And one of them was for you guys, for the collective. And I just knew when I woke up and I'm going to get into it in just a minute. But it was just I don't know if any of you guys experienced that last night. I don't know if there's something going on with the planets, but I, I just feel like like really pay attention to your dreams right now. Especially with Mercury being in retrograde, you have to really use discernment when it comes to your dreams because some of the dreams that come up are going to be purging dreams, like they're going to be dreams about the past and it's just for you to reflect on. It's it's triggering certain emotions in you guys to, you know, it's like shadow work. It's, it's almost like forced shadow work coming through your dreams. But others, other dreams are going to be, you know, psychic right now. So you have to really use discernment to be able to differentiate between which is which. Um, I had a girl that I made friends with a couple weeks ago, and I just had like instant soul recognition with her. We just talked. We, the first time we met, we just talked for like three hours straight. Um, we just had so much to say to each other. And she's psychic, too. And it was crazy because last night I fell asleep at like nine o'clock last night. And I woke up at one and I went to message her about the, the, the psychic dream that I had that was for me specifically. And she had messaged me at like 11 p.m., like two hours earlier with a psychic dream that she had. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know, it's just the energy right now. There's really pay attention to what you're dreaming about, whether it's a purging dream or it's a psychic dream. There's just a lot that might be happening in your dreams right now. But anyway, I want to get into the main message. I have been sick, so I might take a few days off after this. Like, I wasn't planning on posting any time within the next few days, but, I mean, I had that dream last night, and it just needed to come out. So in the last dream that I had, again, it was like a series of psychic dreams. It was like I had one, I went back to sleep, I had a couple more. But the the, the very final one that I had, like, early in the morning was for you guys, for the collective. And, um, okay, so I've been sick, so, like, I spent all day yesterday, like, pretty much just in bed watching... Uh, reruns of Angel. You guys know like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. So I was watching that. And for those that are familiar, um, I, w I had this dream about Darla. And in the dream, it's like there was like a friend of mine that was, you know, telling me that he knew that he knows her or that he used to know her. And I was really excited. I was like, oh, that's really cool. Like, I want to meet her. And, and he was like, no, you don't. She's kind of a bitch. Like she's I, I forget what it was, but it's like he was telling me all these negative characteristics that she had. And he was showing me like this wall of pictures on of her. And if you know the TV series, you know, she's very beautiful, very glamorous, very seductive. And it wasn't that she wasn't beautiful in the pictures, but it was like, um, there was like this fog around her. It was like you couldn't see her. You couldn't see her beauty, her charm, her worth, because it was like these pictures were like blurry or they were like fogged. Um, it was like the energy was all, it was all murky. Um, and I remember when I woke up, it was like, I don't even remember what part of the dream made me just realize that this was the message, but I just woke up and I knew what the message was. And the message is you're, you're about to get a big blessing and it's either financial or you're going to be, uh, you're going to have like a platform or both. It could be both. So if you're an actress or a model or an influencer, maybe you have like some kind of social media platform. Maybe you just opened a business or you're thinking about opening a business and there's different, there's, there's a few different storylines here. So bear with me if that specific part isn't for you, but, um, for some of you, you're getting a plat like you, you're you have a platform or you're going to have a big platform, like you have a following somewhere. I don't know if it's modeling, acting, um, you know, again, maybe like opening your own business or you have your own business, like you have like a like an Etsy or something like that. Um, I feel like you're about to get a. Uh, I feel like you're about to get a big following. Um. Bear with me because there's also for, for the, the money storyline, I'm going to get into that in just a minute. Um, and I'm just channeling. I'm not I'm not going to pull cards or anything. I'm pretty tired. So I'm it would be difficult for me to do this reading, if not for the fact that I just had dreams about it anyway, you know. But um, I think that was where like the Darla dream came into it, where it was like 
it wasn't like you couldn't see her beauty. It wasn't like she was like cursed with ugliness for being a bitch or for the actress or whatever, or whatever being a bitch, like in that dream, at least she was, you know, um, I don't know who, how the actress is in real life, but it wasn't like she was like cursed with ugliness or anything like that, but it was like, she was just blocked. Like you couldn't see her beauty cause there was that fog around her. And I took that as like the message for the collective. It's not like you're going to be cursed with ugliness. Like you'll, if, if you misuse this, you'll still have your beauty. You'll still have your talent. You'll still ha have all of that, but no one's going to see you. It's like, you're going to be almost made invisible if you use this the wrong way. Um, and then I heard that song, Jenny from the Block, like, it's like an old, old Jennifer Lopez song. And I th I forget the lyrics. It's been so long since I've heard that song, but I think it's like, I'm still real. Like, um, I don't, I don't, I don't fucking remember the lyrics, but if you know that song, you know, uh, so anyway, yeah, that dream, sorry. I'm so, I, I feel like crap. I didn't want to come on here, but my spirit guides are like, no, people need these messages. So just, just bear with me guys. I really need a few days to heal from this. Um, yeah. And that dream, it was like, again, it was like the actress's beauty wasn't, it's like, she didn't lose her beauty, but she was just isolated. Like people couldn't see her. Like she, there was that fog around her. So I took that as like that message for the collective. Like you're about to be blessed with this platform. Um, but you need to understand where this blessing is coming from. So there might be certain people that you need to be thankful for that are helping you get there. Like it could be a manager. It could be like, if you have, um, like if you're an actor, a model, you know, and you have, um, what is it like the person that represents you and they're really going out of their way for you, you need to be thankful for them. You need to give them a, a good cut of that money. You know what I mean? Like you need to be thankful for the people that are helping you get there. You do have your own talent, whatever this is, whether it's Etsy modeling, uh, your own business, entrepreneurship, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're trying to get a following for, if that is your part of the storyline, um, it's like there's there's someone that's going to be helping you get there. And it's it's more than one person, I think. So your spirit guides want you to be thankful not only to the people that are helping you get to that point, the people that are and it could just be people emotionally or mentally supporting you. Even if you're doing it on your own, it's like you have that maybe you have a strong support system or if you don't have a strong support system, it's like you have people that are vouching for you um, like be thankful to them. Be don't be selfish with this. Uh, your spirit guides also want you to show them gratitude. Like they want you to understand where this blessing is coming from <clears throat> because I feel like, I feel like some of you might blow up overnight to the point where you let it get to your head and you might even get a little bit cocky or material materialistic, honestly, where you're like, Oh yeah, I did all that on my own. Screw everyone that said I couldn't do it. I'm all, I'm me, myself and I, I got it. And I think it's going to piss your spirit guys off, honestly. Whoever this is for, I don't shoot the messenger, but that's just the energy. That's just the warning I'm getting. Um, they want you to show gratitude not only to the people that helped you, but also to the, um, even if it's just someone, like if you're running an Etsy, even if it's just someone that helps you with packaging, just just show, show gratitude anyway. Say thank you. Um, apologize when you're wrong. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, they want you to show gratitude to them too. They want you to understand that this blessing, even though you have talent and you have power, they want you to understand that this blessing did not just come from you hundred percent. There was, there was a lot behind the scenes. There was a lot going on. There was a lot of support that you had. Um, your prayers were heard. Like there was a lot that happened to make this success happen for you you know, so show whether it's your ancestors, your angels, your gods and goddesses, whoever you pray to, whoever you've been working with, whoever's been doing this for you in the, in the higher realms, whatever spirits have been helping you with this, make sure to leave them offerings, make sure to show your gratitude to them, make sure to really appreciate them for this. Um, and really stay humble. There was, there was a strong message there about like really staying humble, like not forgetting where you came from, not forgetting the people that helped you, not forgetting the spirit guides that helped you, the ancestors that helped you, um, understanding that you, you have a, a whole support team and you're, you might be powerful, but you're, you're, you don't have that same level, that same status without these other energies, without the support around you. You know what I mean? Um, 
So yeah, make sure to leave them offerings, make sure to thank them. And they also want to make sure that not only about staying humble and showing gratitude, but they also want, there was a message about, um, really, and there's, I'm getting to the money message in just a minute. So just bear with me. I'm going to try to keep this one short. There was also a message about using this platform wisely. So if you're a singer, don't get all cocky and let these music producers like, you know, get you to write all these shallow songs that don't resonate with you. Um, if you're an actress, try to, I mean, I know you can't always be picky, but like try to take roles that resonate with you. Try to, try to have that integrity, try to keep your integrity and your humbleness and you can be confident and, you know, sassy and adventurous and outspoken and humble at the same time. You know what I mean? Like you, you can, you can be confident and you can be outspoken with that confidence, but still be humble. Like there's a balance, you know what I mean? There's a major difference between being confident and knowing who you are and being cocky and just acting like you don't need anybody and you can just do it all on your own and, and nobody helped you get there. And, um, you know, like being selfish and like stingy when there were people that helped you. You know what I mean? There's there's a difference in those energies. <coughs> Sorry. Um Oh yeah, what I was saying is use that platform wisely. They want their so part of the reason why they're blessing you with this is because they want you to help people with it. Is what I'm feeling for most of you. So if it's like an Etsy shop or something, it's like I feel like your products are really going to make people happy or they're just going to it's like maybe you're like leaving cute little notes or chocolates in there and it like really makes someone happy. Or if you're a singer, it's like your music is really going to like resonate with people like it's going to hit them on a deep level. Or if you're an actress, it's like or a model or an influencer, it's like someone's really just going to resonate with your um, with your your integrity and your opinions and your your emotional depth and your um your empathy. It's like, you're really going to help people. So they want you to understand that even though, the, you know, your spirit guides want you to understand that even though they do love you, even though they want you to have success for yourself, like they want you to genuinely be happy and, and have the success that you've been praying for and striving for. They want you to also understand that part of the reason why you're leveling up so much, part of the reason why they're going to give you this success is because they want you on this platform to help people. They, they want you to, and you don't have to just give and give and give to everybody. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're meant to have this abundance and happiness and money and success for yourself as well. Like you're meant to have this for yourself. You're, you're meant to, to have everything that you need and more. So don't get me wrong there. But, um, but again, this platform that you're going to be on, it's, it's meant to, you're meant to reach a lot of people. You're meant to help a lot of people. You're meant to, um, help people heal, or you're going to make them happy. You're going to do something impactful in people's lives. So, <coughs> sorry. Um, so just keep that in mind. Like when you're up there, keep that, keep that in, in mind that that's a big part of why you're up there. In addition to your own happiness and your own well-being and, and being blessed, you're also there for other people. You're there both for yourself and for others as well. There's multiple reasons that you're up there. But don't get material. No, don't get too materialistic. You know what I mean? Don't lose sight of the focus. Um, remember what the original soul contract was or the original soul plan was. So this could be like a singer where you're like, you love writing love songs and you want to reach people. You want to make people emotional. You want to make people feel something. And then, you know, you get this like almost overnight success and you like, you know, you're just like overwhelmed by all the money and like you lose yourself and you're just writing all these shallow songs and you're not touching anybody. You know what I mean? Like you're not writing the same kind of songs that you wanted to write because you're just, you're in this, you're in like a whole nother world and you lose yourself in the money and the fame and the glamour. You know what I mean? Like your spirit guides want to make sure that doesn't happen. Like, remember again, just remember why you're up there. Remember the songs that you used to write. Remember the, the, the way you, the things that you used to write. Remember the, um, the, what their original plan was, the original, whatever it is, whether it's a business modeling, singing, whatever could art, art something artistic, R remember the, the soul of it. Remember the emotional energy of it. Remember the impact that you originally really prioritized having on people. They want to make sure that remains your priority when you get to the top. 
the money is just secondary. Don't lose yourself in the money or in the in the fame. Don't let and also stand up for yourself when it comes to people that might be trying to push you in certain directions with your business or your your image, your modeling, singing, whatever. Don't let people push you in the wrong direction. Make, make sure you stay to your original message, to who you are, to what message you want to get out there to the collective, to society. You know what I mean? Like keep writing those same love songs. Don't don't start writing shallow songs just to get more likes or whatever. You know what I mean? Like keep stay true to yourself when you get up there. Remember what that platform is for. Because I just honestly feel like your spirit guides are saying like we will take it away from you as quickly as we give it to you if you misuse it. So again, don't get cocky. Understand that this platform is going to be a huge blessing for you. Like you're you're, you're going to have an opportunity to reach, you know, a lot of people. So really use that wisely and let that be more of the more of the focus than the money. You know, the money will come along with that. You'll you'll be provided for. But but make sure that the emotion, the heart, the soul of it is stays your priority. Have that integrity, have that humbleness. <clears throat> use that platform for the right reasons. Um, For others, sorry, it took me so long to get to the money part of this. And this is all just me channeling, so I don't really need cards, especially since I had that dream last night. For others, you're about to be given a large sum of money. For some, it's both. For some of you, it's actually the fame and then the money comes with it. Like all that money is going to come with that platform too. Um, but for others, I feel like you're just about to be gifted a large amount of money. Now, this could be like over the holidays. This could be um, a blessing. But somebody is going to be watching you, I feel, to see how, what you do with that money and what you do with it is um, going to decide like if they is, is going to determine if they give you more money or not. So this could be like a really unexpected blessing where it's like maybe somebody owes you money or somebody's like maybe you have like an inheritance or you're left in somebody's will or someone just, you know, maybe like a relative or someone you know just has a soft spot for you. They see you struggling. Um, it's not for everybody. You know, only take it if it resonates. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up. But for some of you, yeah, you're going to get like a large sum of money. But, um, and this could come from multiple sources too. I just want to say when you're manifesting money, don't get caught up. And don't block it. Don't get caught up with like, oh, it has to manifest this way or this way or this way. You know what I mean? Don't get caught up with that. Don't get caught up with like, oh, I'm only going to be able to make money from work or I'm only going to be able to make money from this one job that I have. Because money can come from anywhere. You could find like a hundred bucks on the ground tomorrow. You could have like, you know, maybe like a settlement from a job you worked years ago and you're part of that and you get a letter in the mail or you could have a new job offer. You could have a relative give you money. You could have money come in from so many areas. So just keep that in mind when trying to manifest money. Don't, don't be, don't keep yourself stagnant. Don't be stubborn. Like, oh, it can only manifest this way. Be like, you know, money can come from everywhere. Money is an energy. You know what I mean? Understand that money is an energy. Um, and I feel like a lot of people that are really rich, like understand that, like they know how to work with that energy. They know how to manifest more of it. <coughs> oh my gosh guys sorry oh I've been coughing forever anyway um yeah someone's gonna be watching you though I, I think you're about to get blessed and maybe you've been listening to like subliminals like there's a lot of subliminal channels on YouTube you have to be careful with subliminals because like there are channels that will you got to check the comments because some of them will kind of screw you up. Like, so, I mean, some some subliminals, like same with like binaural beats, you have to know who's making them. But there's a lot of good subliminal channels on YouTube that are legit for manifesting money. And subliminals reprogram your subconscious mind, so they really work. Um, I feel like some of you have been doing that or you've been um, doing like maybe magic or whatever or just praying for money or just really like just asking for advice on how to get more money, something like that. So I do feel like if you're in that energy group, I feel like your wish is going to be granted. But someone's going to be watching you to see what you do with that money. That's the warning. So so again, some people are being blessed with fame, others with fame and money. Um, some of So some of you, it's just fame. Some of you, it's fame and money. Others, it's just money. 
like it might, and again, it might just be like a relative that just gives you a large sum of money or an inheritance that you weren't expecting or something like that out of nowhere. But someone's going to be watching you to see what you do with that money. So this is either that relative is going to watch you and they're going to make sure that you're not using it on like substances or alcohol or um just like spending it on whatever like they're gonna watch they're gonna give you a large sum of money and they're gonna watch you closely and see what you spend it on and if they feel like you're just shopping like you're just handling it in like an immature way like you're just um I mean I'm not saying like not shopping at all for yourself but I'm I'm just saying like like you're spending like they give you a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks and you spend like 500 on like new clothes then they're going to be like, what the hell? That's not that what that was for. You know what I mean? Like they're going to want to see that you're saving or investing or you're using it for things you really need, like getting caught up on bills or rent and maybe spending a small percentage of that on something that you've wanted for a while, like, you know, 50 or 100 bucks out of like a thousand or two thousand dollars is like spent on like new clothes or something that you've been wanting for a while, something like that. Like they're just going to want to make sure that you're not just splurging or just being cocky with it. <coughs> oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh God. Okay. Yeah, they're going to want to make sure that you're not just like splurging or being cocky with it, but that you're actually using it wisely towards your future. And I feel like if they see that, they're going to probably end up giving you more money. Like if they see you saving it, if they see that you're really appreciative of that money, and that you're using it towards the right things, they're they're going to observe and I think they're going to give you more of it. And this could also be your spirit guides. If this isn't a family member watching you, I feel like this is one of your ancestors or a spirit guide that might even be pushing for this money to come towards you. Like this, this, this spirit guide or this ancestor might even be vouching for you. So like they might even be putting themselves on the line for you. Like you might have other spirit gods that are like, oh no, like I've seen what he's spent his money on in the past, or I've seen what she's spent her money on in the past. Like it all went towards clothing or drugs or alcohol, or it all went towards, um, or she gave it to this, uh, you know, he gave it to this abusive girlfriend or, um, you know, he lets someone steal it from him or, or something like that, where it's like, you have like spirit guides that are like, not hundred percent sure about it, where they're looking and they're like, mm, you haven't had like the best relationship with money in the past for some of you. And so yeah, I think you have like these one or two spirit guides that are like, no, I feel like this person's matured. I feel like they have a better relationship with money. Now I feel like they're going to be more responsible with money. So you might have like an ancestor or spirit guide that's really putting themselves they're putting their reputation on the line for you and they're talking to these other spirit guys and they're like no like give them a chance give them one more chance like I really feel like you bless them with this amount of money like I really feel like they're gonna use it the right way this time or they're gonna they're not gonna be selfish with it like they're gonna give back they're they're gonna save it they're gonna invest they're gonna um you know, they're not going to be greedy or, or like, you know, miss, spend it on the wrong things or whatever. Like this, this spirit guide is like really vouching for you. Um, so I think there is a lot at stake, honestly, because I think, I think if you do get this large amount of money and you misuse it, it's not only, I, I feel like those spirit guides aren't going to vouch for you again financially. And there might be some financial hardships in the future because of that, because you might be financially struggling, and those those one or two spirit guides won't stand up for you again if you misuse this this large sum of money that's coming in for you, because they'll be like, no, like we stood up for you before and you made us look stupid. Like you made us we vouched for you when no one else would. And like you repeated the same karmic cycle, the same karmic pattern with money. You blew all that money in a short time frame. We're not going to bring that money in again. Like you're you're going to have to learn the hard way. You know what I mean? So so like you really want to do right by those spirit guides. Um yeah, I'm going to put this out there. I hope this resonates for you. But but whatever blessing is coming in, whether it's money, fame, or both, be be wise, be intuitive, be mature, be responsible. Use the platform wisely. Use the money wisely. Understand where it's coming from. Understand that this is a blessing. Don't get cocky and feel like it just came from you. Like this is, there's, there's some, there's, there's people probably in the physical and also in the spiritual realm that brought this blessing to you. So really show appreciation, show gratitude, leave your spirit guides offerings for this. 
um, you know, do it, do the right thing with, with this, this blessing that's coming to you. Anyway, I'm going to put this out. Thank you guys for watching.